let me show you how you can use count if formula in numbers for Mac. This way we can search for certain values and we can also count them. We can know how many times this value appear in the column. As you can see, I got different fruits here, but they're duplicates. That's why I'm going to use this formula. So I position myself here. So I click on the empty cell and start typing equals. This will give me this formula menu pop up. Now you can type it from the keyboard or you can select this here from the list as well. Here in the list count if I click on that and click insert function. Now I need to select the area I want to search in. So I select this area, hold down your mouse, select the area. And now it's time for condition here. Condition will be a text. So double quotes and we can kind of end up by closing the bracket like that or simply by confirming by clicking this OK button here. And I got a number as the result. So my formula went across this whole column and searched for apple. One, two, three, four. It gave me number four as the result because we got this four times. If I click on the formula here again, I can change this text. Kiwi. Then I confirm with this OK twice. OK, let's do it one more time, but this time by simply by typing the formula. So. Go to the empty cell, equals, and type. Count if, and it will find the formula. Select the area we want to search in, then pick the condition. In this case, I'm going to click on the certain cell. So the first one, A1, and it will search for the same value across for mango. Click OK. Three. So this time I didn't type uh, from the keyboard exactly the text. I just use another cell, in this case A1, as the key for searching. So mango in this case. And the mango is here. And there's one more over here. So three. It's correct. You could also do something like this. We could also use, for example, this B20 cell here just above this formula. OK, right now it's empty, so we got value zero. But if I type something here like apple, it's give me four. And then I can type banana, give me three. So this way I got this pair the formula and this variable I can change here easily on the side without editing the formula itself. To highlight that I can make it uh, yellow here showing that something going on here is some kind of variable and formula so it's different color the rest of this table. Alright so that's how you can do it that's how you can use count if. You can start with equals and then select the correct formula show the range and then show the value you are searching for. You can type the value in from the keyboard or you can use another cell as the reference. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.